the country of Iceland had transformed itself from one of Europe's poorest countries to one of its wealthiest in the space of a generation. After the financial crisis in 2008, Iceland suffered yet another blow when that volcano unexpectedly erupted and sent plumes of ash into the Icelandic air. The negative press and sentiment surrounding Iceland was turning potential tourists off. The effect of the volcano was felt immediately with tourist numbers plummeting 30% in the two remaining weeks of April, a decline that continued into the start of May. This campaign involved Icelanders in telling their stories to the world. Hi. You are not going to believe where I am now. Iceland. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's... It's amazing, really. It's, have a look at this, yeah? <laughs> hey, I'm in, love. in July 2010, Iceland Hour was created, during which Icelanders went online and told the world how much they loved their country. Even the Prime Minister got involved. Within two weeks of the launch, over 85% of Icelanders were aware of the campaign. After six weeks, over half the Icelandic public had contributed stories. Within just 10 weeks, the country was perceived as a safe place to visit again, and visitor numbers were up 27% against forecasts. The first quarter of 2011 has seen Iceland's highest tourist numbers ever. On Facebook alone, over 45,000 fans were recruited and over 2 million stories were seen and sent out by fans. Between June and August, the live webcams were viewed 60 million times. In total, an additional 73,000 tourists visited the country from Europe, worth an additional £127.4 million to Iceland's economy. The total campaign expenditure was £2 million within this period, giving a short-term ROMI of £62.7 for every pound invested. Inspired by Iceland demonstrates how a new model of social participation can change both attitudes and behaviours and deliver impressive commercial results. <laughs>